I have been put to work and they're making my work easy. Check out this. It's a little color by letter by number situation that they've figured out. And Ryan here is one of the artists and artisan here at Poivic Pottery. It's going to walk me through creating this new piece. And Ryan, do you know what really inspired this paperweight? So this paperweight was inspired by uh, a tile found in our archives, which Mary Chase Perry Stratton, the founder of Puabic, she used this tile to showcase all of our glazes that we had. I love that. And so it is a little bit of a variety of glazes. And we are going to be making this here. So, uh, so where do we begin? You said uh, starting with the yellow, right? Yes, yes. So we have uh, this yellow glaze here. We're starting right up in the corner. And just make sure to give it a shake. And if you want to test it out, the oh, uh, consistency okay. on the sponge. Okay, so then I just sort of fill it in. Yeah, uh, you just fill it in. It's just like a little pool. Um, you it, can, that one right there? Okay, I right love there, this little yes. map. This little color map. Okay. Fill in all the corners. And sometimes if it gets stuck, you can just take it and shake it again. Sometimes well, I'm scared to squeeze it too hard because I don't want to overfill. <laughs> no, that's perfect. Is that good? Yeah. Did I fill it enough? Let's How see, do you fill know? Fill in that one little corner over there. Oh, I see. Okay. Perfect. This is very detail orientated because you don't want it to spill over too much, right? You know, and if it spills over, it's not that big of a deal because you, okay. uh, you can scrape it off and clean it. Um, before the final product. But it is very detailed, and mm. it's interesting because these right here are all filled, right? So these are completed, they're all painted, and it's fascinating to see that that is a completed product before the oven. That change, that difference, is just from the heat in the oven. Correct, yeah. How hot does that get? So our kilns get up to about uh, 2200 for this firing, which is quite hotter than uh, your at-home oven. And our, uh, our tiles are first pressed into a plaster mold, um, which we have here. Oh, this is the mold? This is our mold. Oh, yeah. And it shrinks down quite a bit in the firing. Okay. Um, we, this firing takes uh, two firings. First is the bisque firing, which is right here. And then um, once we have glazed and scraped and cleaned everything, it's then it goes into the second glaze firing, which so is much hotter. Yeah. And then it shrinks so one more time. Can I see that right there? Yeah, can absolutely. you bring that over here? Yeah. Set this down. So this is the original mold. So when it is first made, that's what size it is. And because it shrinks during the firing, I mean, you that, it shrinks down to that. It comes down quite a bit. It comes down quite a bit. This is really interesting. And just like the detailed work, uh, I appreciate the little map here. Yeah, uh, you can come on by. Now this behind the scenes area, you can only see this here on channel seven, but you can come to their gallery and their store. You can also order special orders. If you have something special you wanna do for your work from home space coming up, we're gonna be talking a little bit more about that section of their business, the architectural design and the options to improve your home, Simon.